Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the Type 90 which is a Japanese MBT at 11.0. Now the really special thing about this thing is that it has a 4 second autoloader. You know, it may first look like a 2A4 but you shouldn't really be deceived by that. It has a 4 second autoloader with a total of 19 rounds in it. And on top of that it also has one of the best horsepower ton ratios at its BR. So that makes it even better because you can kind of run around like a go-kart and shoot people in the side. Like can reload it, you can kind of engage multiple targets at once. Another nice thing about this tank is that you get two of them. You get the Type 90 and you get Type 90B. They are basically identical. I guess the small difference is that you get these acrylic uh, protective plates on the lights here. But other than that, it's really the same tank. But it's nice though because that means that you get to spawn them a total of four times if you use backups on them. I guess at this BR you also get the TKXP, however I haven't researched that yet, which is why I don't have it in the lineup here. And talking about 11.0, you actually get a whole lot of down tiers, just because there's a lot of premium players running around at like 10.0 and 10.3, so they all kind of get sucked up to you. So you get to have a whole lot of down tiers, which makes uh, playing this thing incredibly fun, as you'll see in the footage. Alright, for our next battle, we're on Normandy here in a full down tier, so that's really cool. Of course, uh, as usual on this map, I'm going to go try and get to the monument here at the start. Now, this is a bit of a risky thing to do here at top tier, or not top tier, but even just high tier in general, because, like, everyone's uh, a bit faster. So I don't know if I'll actually uh, be able to survive here, but uh, that guy... He got his commander and loader, so that's definitely a pretty good start. Does seem to be a tank here, though, so... Uh, whoa, where did my shell just go there? Uh, okay, there we go. That friendly T-80 here almost got me killed. But uh, there we go. It looks like we got the breach now, so we can just push... And, uh, you know, we will just try and finish him off. That shell kind of just disappeared there, which is a bit odd. But we'll just shoot his ammunition there, and he's gone. There was another tank here as well somewhere. Don't really know what happened, though. Maybe he's died, actually, since I'm not getting a hit marker on him. So I am going to back up here. And, um, yeah, just try and secure this area for now, because I think we've seen enough action for now. Or maybe not, actually. Because uh, I think there may be a bit of an opportunity here to push the enemies a bit. Because they seem to be uh, in their smoke. Oh, that is a lot of tanks though. So I'm going to have to be really quick here. Seems to be a T-80 here as well. So we'll get rid of him. Uh, there is also a Leopard right here. So we'll just get rid of that guy as well. Sadly, we only get an assist on him though. There's also another Leopard here. Don't really know what's happened to him. But I'll just help my friendly repair here so that he can get back into action as soon as possible and then i guess we can try and engage whatever tanks that are left right here Ooh, there is a tank right in front of me here and i actually do manage to kill him uh maybe not exactly the most uh, beautiful of methods but uh, there's also a tank right here i can't see anybody though so i'm gonna have to back up here Sadly, if I would have known that his ammunition was there, I probably would have shot it, but, uh... Yeah, sadly, I... Lost my privileges to see there, so I unfortunately wasn't really able to do that. He isn't really looking at me, though. So I can actually just, like, do that again to him. So that's nice. And, uh, that seems to be all the tanks over there right now, so I'm gonna look over here to the right. And, uh, Commander Gunner Loader, that's good enough. Uh, I do want to quickly finish him off there. Seems to be another tank behind him as well. I forgot what, what that was, but uh, it shouldn't be. Well, okay, maybe it is quite an issue because tanks behind us are dying right now. And that T-72 doesn't really seem to care about what pop smoke there. Maybe he does care, actually. Looks like he do does now. Uh, I just got a hit on him, which is not so good because I don't really know. But there we go. We actually do manage to blind shot him there. So I'm going to go try and go engage whatever's on B because it looks like it's getting decapped now. Unfortunately, I just noticed that I'm actually running out of ammunition here. So uh, that's that's not too good. Maybe I used it a bit too, uh, uh, yeah, liberally. Sadly, this guy, ah, uh, he's got my engine now. So it looks like I can't really, uh, yeah, move now. And I only have two rounds of ammunition left. And it looks like my sight is sort of bugging now. So I can't really, uh... Yeah, engage this guy as I'd like to. He does actually... No, no, he does not die. Uh, never mind. There's a tank right there, though, that I can actually shoot. So that does give me another kill there. Sadly, though... 
Yeah, I only have one round of ammunition left. So either that leopard dies and I get really lucky. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll spawn in a backup to uh, essentially get a free load of ammunition back. And, alright, go, 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 go. Everybody go, go, go. Uh, where did he go? He's somewhere over there. Okay, well, I got his loader. Good luck, guys, because I can't do anything anymore. So I'm going to go try and hide behind uh, this church right now. Because, uh, you know, I, I do need to sort of refill my ammo stocks right here. The enemy twins actually doing really strongly and the sea point's completely empty as well so if we get really unlucky they may actually be able to uh get the upper hand here in this battle currently i have almost 2300 spawn points so if i kill like one guy and get shot like twice then i think i should have enough to be able to spawn in a nuke but yeah we'll see how this battle goes Alright, there we go. No, I can't actually spawn in a nuke, I just noticed. Because, uh, that enemy leopard died. It's a bit of a problem, though. Um, that enemy leopard... ...also has enough spawn points to spawn in a nuke. So, uh, yeah, no, uh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be interesting, because as far as I know, he has spawned in one. Because I did hear the siren there as I was, uh, spawning in. Also, I just gave him spawn points there when I jade out there, so maybe that wasn't that smart of an option, but I think he was already uh, in the air, or at least spawned in on the runway by the time I jade out, so I don't think it really contributed much. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a very close battle. I think I maybe should have set my bomb delay to zero seconds just to really min-max. But yeah, there we go. We see him taking off there. At least you can sort of see in third-person view. Hopefully I can show it to you guys in the video here a bit better. But uh, now we have to really blast it. Uh, hopefully this friendly SG-25 here goes after the enemy nuke carrier because he does have all aspect missiles and this thing doesn't have flares so it'd be really cool if he'd uh, go after him but then again it seems like uh, he's actually dead now so <laughs> that's maybe uh, the least of his concerns but yeah I know I think that guy's gonna make it before I get to the battlefield here but hey it's worth a try we're gonna just hold W here we are going to try and Get to the battlefield as fast as possible. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna hold- oh yeah, no. Oh wait, no, that's not a nuke carrier. Uh, my bomb's away. And I drop it- wait, what just happened? I think I dropped it there, right? I'm gonna have to go see in the replay if he spawned in one, cause... He had enough spawn points too, or at least I think he'd had enough spawn points too, so... Yeah, that would actually be interesting to see what he was in. Alright, so as you can see right here, in the post-battle results, he has 3,678 score points, which is more than enough to spawn in a nuke. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Maybe I can go into the battle log here and see what he spawned in in the end. Oh yeah, no, he was in a nuke. Here he can see his name. So, uh, I actually kind of want to see how close I was there, so I'm gonna have a look at the server replay. Alright, so here we see him spawned in a nuke, and by this time here, I have also spawned a nuke, so we're both actually on the runway right now. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting as to see how this develops. Um... Alright, now by the time he's like 4 kilometers away from the battlefield, I am 3 kilometers, so either I just had like a shorter distance, or he carried too much fuel, or something like that. The point is, as I'm coming in here, with mine you can see me right there, and uh, yeah, I already drop it here. So luckily, that does uh, give me the nuke before him, because I just dropped it before. Sadly, nukes don't really render in a server replay, so that's why you uh, don't see it here. But yeah, the tickets have already gone to zero, so it's already gone off. Alright, for my first game here, we are on LL Main. Now, uh, this map here, you should always really be careful here at the start because a lot of things happen in really quick succession. Like that tank right there to the right. You may think that's important. Uh, it is not because there is more here. And uh, yeah, we kind of just have to hope that, uh, you know, we, we don't die. That guy there is very adventurous. So let's just quickly get rid of him here. He seems to be repaired now. It's only got his driver back. 
But uh, yeah, we definitely shouldn't move away from this rock here because if we do, we die. And pushing uh, out of this area, I can't see anything right now, but there was a guy right there. Um, uh, yeah, no, this is very scary. The guy right there, actually. It's a good thing I shot him. Uh, there we go, that's him gone. I sort of saw his optics through the smoke there, that's how I was able to get to know where he is. Problem is, there is still a whole lot of tanks here right now. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully not a lack of teammates, because... I am potentially starting to get overwhelmed right now, so what I'm actually gonna do... is pop smoke there. I'm gonna turn the tank around. Because I may have to start focusing what's happening over here. I do see a tank down there. So I'm just going to quickly get rid of him. I'm not sure if he's the only one right now. But uh, he is not. No, he is. It's not a tank. That's a dead turret, I think. So maybe I can actually... Yeah, no, I don't trust this area right now. So don't really want to move up. I see a tank right there. But uh, yeah, that doesn't really work. Maybe I shouldn't really back up here either, though, because then I'll get annihilated. Seems to be a tank right there, and oh, there's a tank right in front of me. And, uh, oh yeah, no, I just can't see him, so that's not so good. I'll just repair here. 30 seconds, that's quite a long time. Hopefully nobody comes up from behind us. Alright, there we go. There's that leopard now dead. I do hear someone right in front of me. Can I reload on time? Yes, I can. So, uh, that's a good thing I was aware of my surroundings. There's a tank right behind me, though. So I should definitely, uh, watch this area. Sadly, this thing's optics are, like, a bit too zoomed in. So, uh, you know, situational awareness on this thing is a bit tough. But it's doable, I guess, if you know where everybody is. It looks like there's a tank spawn keeping us here at the top of the map. So I am now gonna go try and deal with them. Because I'm not sure if my team can. Alright, so we're getting really close to him now. He might already be getting overwhelmed by a lot of friendlies. And, um, oh, sadly, he seems to be right here. There we go, I got his engine now, so at least I'll get an assist on him. And, oh, okay, looks like he J's out, so that gives me the kill. So now I can, I guess, go back to focusing on more enemies here. We still have a lot of people, so I definitely have to be aware of, uh, yeah, what's happening around me. But I guess now it's a bit more relaxed. So why is there a Stuka at this BR? Alright, there seems to be actually another light tank spawn camping us now. So it's a good thing he didn't come assault me, because I actually never noticed him. There is another guy coming up behind me soon, so I'm going to pop smoke here preemptively. Just so that I don't really get disturbed by him. Uh, sadly, I don't really know where he is. I do hear him now, though. And, uh, oh, that shell doesn't do any damage to him, so that's not good. Uh, I got his vertical cannon drive there, which, uh, you know, is, is not bad. Not great either. Well, there we go. Looks like we can get the kill. And I guess now I can safely repair my track. No, not my track, my ray radiator. Right now, there's supposedly a heavy tank here. And, uh, oh, sadly, I'm not able to get the kill there. There's also another guy behind. So we can try and go after him. Oh, I just had an opportunity to shoot him there. But we have a better one right now, so I'll just finish him off. Because of all the helicopters behind me, I can't really hear too well what's happening here, so I might just try and move back. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's actually a leopard right there. I hope he hasn't noticed me, because right now is a really good time for me to assault him. So I will just, uh, kind of do that. That was not such a good shot. I, oh, no, he can't shoot me. Or can he? Yes, but I shoot him first, and he also, I think, hits my armor somewhere, so I do get the kill. Currently, I have... 2,000, almost 300 spawn points. So, uh, yeah, we're quite close to getting a nuke. We also only have three rounds of ammunition, though. So, uh, it's definitely gonna be very close. But I think, since they only have, like, five or six people left, I think we should be able to win this game. Alright, there you see one of the last three remaining enemy players. Sadly, uh, you know, I don't really have the gun elevation to be actually be able to elevate against him, and you know what, he's coming on a full bombing run on the point right now, so I am going to have to back up here. Hopefully that T-72 does survive, and it looks like he does, so that's cool. Ooh, 
Ooh, there is a wheeled vehicle here though, so I really hope that T72 notices him. I've kind of pinged in on the map. Uh, maybe a bit late, never mind. Our friendly AMX 30 here does come in clutch to save the T72, although right now he's getting harassed by an Abrams. So I'm gonna try and help him out here. Maybe he needs help, maybe he doesn't. It looks like he doesn't though, because that Abrams is now very, very dead. So it looks like I don't have to worry about that anymore. Hey, look, we have our helicopter here joining us to capture the zone. Thankfully, they can still do that. So uh, yeah, there we go. And excellent, that is our first game done. All right, for our next battle, we are here on Sun City. Now we're at 10.7, or no, we're at 11.3, there we go. And uh, it isn't too tragic. Of course, when you go down this road here to see, you always want to be scoped into this position because if you're not, you'll uh, yeah, be shot like that Abrams right there. Now, I'm gonna try and run into it. I do hear someone else on that corner right there. We just saw him as well, but he doesn't seem too interested in uh, engaging us right now. I don't even know where he's looking at. He's looking not in this direction, so that's good, I guess. Uh, never mind, he's most definitely looking in this direction. Sadly, I missed the opportunity to shoot his loader there. Uh, it looks like he has ran away now. And I think his gunner, uh, oh, his gunner's dead, but I missed his driver by a bit, so... You know, that isn't too good, and by the time I get there, his tank will be back up and running. So that's not too good, but it looks like, uh, yeah, my friendlies here are able to finish him off. So I guess now I can safely move out here and go to this uh, area here. I do hear an Abrams in bottom of me, so I'm going to have to look in this direction. This is not such a smart thing to do, though. I don't know how he didn't shoot me, but it's fine because we're still alive. And now what I'm going to do is shoot this guy right here as well. I didn't notice him there before. And, and uh, oh, this guy also exists, so I might as well get rid of him. I, why are these people not shooting me? Um, it is truly a mystery. But th now I'm probably scouted because that Vilgas was staring me down. And if he wasn't shooting me, he would have at least scouted me. Uh, but So I guess we're just trying to try and get as many kills as possible. That wasn't very nice of that guy. In fact, I cannot reload him, so we'll just quickly do that. But uh, yeah, no, we're, we're not going to survive. Looks like there was a Vilgas there, but hey, five kills is not, definitely not a bad start. Alright, now I have arrived at the uh, same location I was before. Now this time I do hear a leopard in front of me though. So uh, I'm not going to just run in here, I'm just going to go right next to this building and I'm going to place the tank here to the left because I hear him trying to uh, yeah, move around here. I'm going to turn my engine off. I'm not sure how smart of a decision that is, is, uh, that is, is, that is. But I think I'll just turn it back on now actually because he is trying to like outflank me here or something. And these bushes are a real big problem for me because I can't really know like, where he is. So uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't really like this encounter I am in right now, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna just hide behind this building right here. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, it is. That is also a tank that I should probably shoot before it runs away. Um, oh, only got his commander though, sadly, and it looks like this guy is trying to come engage me now. So we'll uh, driver loader. That's not too bad though, because he shot me and missed. So we'll just finish him off right there, and it looks like the other guy has disappeared, so I guess I can now repair my tank in peace, and he actually didn't kill any of my crew members, so that's really good. Okay, so uh, on today's issue episode of Skill Issues, why did he not shoot me? Uh, he's probably looking into the sky, that's why. Uh, yeah, I just missed that big light panzer there. Not a very good uh, show of skill, I guess, but, uh, you know. Where is he? That's not where he is. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I think I just saw some illusions there or something. I don't think he actually pushed. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and not stay here because, of course, that leopard might respawn and come shoot me. So instead, I am going to try and move to exactly where I died before. But, uh, no, I won't, actually, because there is... I think I heard a leopard in front of me there. Yep, there we go. Looks like he's under the bridge here. Uh, sadly, I don't really see him, though, and that's bad because he's behind the wall. And he can see me if he looks over it. So, uh, you know, not not too great, but I don't think he knows that I'm here either, so I can just finish him off like that. Seems to be an Abrams here, so we'll just finish him off as well. And then uh, I'll have to quickly leave here, but that's not the only guy, actually. So let's just quickly 
Mm, okay, we're not reversing here. The tank all the way down there. Got his engine. Uh, definitely not bad, but I don't think I'll be able to re-engage him here. Or maybe I will be able to. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on if he's still paying attention to me by the time I run around this corner here. I guess I could just keep shooting his engine if I really wanted to. But there we go, we see him now. Is he looking at me? I mean, I can't really tell from this distance. So, uh, oh, got his gunner. He has commander override though, but his commander is dead actually. So I can just safely push here, shoot his loader. And I guess now I can go and try to capture the A point. Oh, I can actually spawn in a nuke, I just noticed. So, um, do I do that? How many spawn points do I have? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of risky to spawn in a nuke right now. Because if I got get shot down, that'll kind of be the end of me. But I guess, uh, life is always full of risks. So I'm actually going to J out here. I'm not going to capture the point. Because if I do, the tickets might bleed really quickly. So I'll see how that goes. Hopefully I don't get shot down by anybody. All right, here we go. Three kilometers away from the battlefield. I mean, I think we're going to make this one unless, uh, you know, a friendly decides to be really funny. There we go. Spam the space bar and bomb is away. And uh, yeah, there we go. Very, very nice. Well, that was a quite an odd battle, though. A lot of people, they could have shot me and they just didn't decide to. Like, at the very least, that Vilcast or whatever could have breached me, but... I guess he didn't feel like it, or something. But hey, I'll always take a new... Alright, there you go, that was the Type 90. I mean, this thing here, just because 11-0, it gets so many down tiers, and that really makes it fun. And of course, you don't really run out of ammo that much either, since you have a total of 19 rounds in here, unlike the Type 10, which has quite a bit less. That's why I don't like playing it as much. But yeah, very, very solid tank. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here. If you want me to uh, play anything or check something out, then let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.